So hello everybody, it's me David here again guys, and I'm here to bring you our first ever tutorial on this channel guys. I'm going to start doing tutorials now guys, I realize that a lot of other YouTubers do this, and um, they get a lot of views from this, but I'm not doing this to get views, I'm doing this because I love YouTube and I love you guys, and I want to do really cool stuff for you guys to help make your YouTube channel look more professional, better. So today we are going to be making, as you can see, a thumbnail cover or almost like a picture frame. If you've ever seen one, it's like a border around it and the picture's in the middle. We're going to be making that. So here is an example of what we'll be making. We're going to draw it out with a few tools. Um, all you're going to need is Adobe Photoshop CS6 full or the free trial. I'm going to put both in the description below. And you will really, um, it doesn't matter if you use Photoshop or not. You can use Paint.net or GIMP. But I like to use Photoshop. So that's, I think that's the most professional to use, especially with YouTube and everything you do, even though it is expensive. Plus, you're going to need your brain. So we're going to be making something similar to this. So I'm going to go and X this out. And we're going to go and grab um, Photoshop. We'll open it up. Let's uh, download this. So like, as you can see, we're going to click File, New, and then we're going to go to New. We can name it Thumbnail Thumbnail Cover, I guess. That's nice. The width is going to be um, 1920, and the height is going to be 1080. We're going to make this 1920 by 1080p pixels. 72 resolution, grayscale, 8-bit. Background is going to be, uh, I think it's going to be on white for you, or background color, you're going to put it on transparent. Color profile, we're going to do a dot gain 20%, and we're going to do the pixel ratio at square pixels. Going to click OK. And there is our little blank canvas where we're going to draw our little thing on. Just for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to go and make the background a grayish because that's the best to see this thing on, our little cover on. So let's go and change it from 50% to about 38% so we can actually see what we're doing. Um, let's go and make the new uh, flare. This is going to be for our cover. Let's go and go right here. You might have the lasso tool selected, I believe. Um, it should be like this for you or whatever. It's going to be, you. this is the first tool. Then you go down to the rectangle marquee. Then, this is the third tool, the Polygon Lasso tool. That's what you're, we're going to be using for this. So basically, I'll teach you. So basically, you just click down and it starts a line. Let's say you want to make a box. You just go to whatever you want. Click, go, click, go, click, and go, click. And then, no pixels were selected. That's just because it's outside of a zone. If I do it in here, we can make like a square, weird square thing. And then, if I wanted to fill something in, um, I could do that or whatever I want to do with it. And if I want to get rid of it, you just click this. You click anywhere and it gets rid of it. So we're going to use the Polygon Lasso tool. Let's go um, start uh, outlining. It really doesn't matter how you do this. I'm going to do this similar to how I did that one. I'm going to kind of make it very cool design-ish. So we'll do that. Um, try to make it straight. It's kind of, it is kind of hard to do this, I will tell you that. It's pretty tough. Um, yeah. Let's just try to get the best that we possibly could do. It doesn't matter if it's not straight. It does still look good, I promise. I really don't have any tips for you if you want it perfectly straight. Um, I don't. Mine isn't perfectly straight, if you haven't noticed that by now. But um, it, it, I don't. I actually don't like it if it's even because it's kind of not made by you. It's it almost looks like you didn't make it because I don't like that. But yeah, um, it's it's whatever you choose to do. I don't. I'm not gonna like decide what you want. Um, there you go. So when once you got it, you just click, and then you should have like this border thing. But um, as you can see, I just realized that I did this incorrectly because um, you can't fill something in the middle of anything. It won't fill it. It's gonna fill inside of this. So now we could make this part the background, but that's not how I want to do it. So let's actually go and we're going to undo that. Because that, uh, that was an example of me doing the incorrect thing. I'm sorry, guys. Let's go back to the polygon lasso tool. Um, we're going to start over here. Now I know what I'm doing. We can go like this. We can do this. 
Um, it's cool. Like that, kind of, guys. It's basically like that. Just do something really... Um, basically. If we go like this, remember, it's not going to do anything. It's just going to make that border. So like that, guys, basically. You just go to your paint bucket, select white or the color you want. Um, I'm just going to do white for the purposes. And there you go. If you get rid of it, it looks really nice. I don't know if you noticed. It kind of does look very good. So you're just going to do that. We'll do that for the other side, I guess. Um, yeah. Doesn't matter exactly how you do this, but it's uh, kind of good to know. Um, let's do that. Let's do this up here. Yeah, like that. So we can go around and do this. It doesn't matter, but yeah, you should try to make it as even as possible. You can put grid lines. That's what I forgot to tell you guys. You can put grid lines. But as you can see so far, we have this. It's very simple. Um, just do this. Draw this thing. To make it even, because that's that's going to be the bottom of the border. We're going to need that to be as even as possible. So if you if it, you made it incorrect, you know you can just do, we can just do uh, Control Z, I believe. No, I guess you can't. Um, you know if you just mess up, I guess you have to. I really have no idea. Oh God. Uh. Yeah, that's right. You can just click Escape. I'm an idiot. Okay. Oh god, I I know what I'm doing, guys. I don't know if you think it's true, but I know what I'm doing. I right, uh, let's do that. Oh, perfect. We made that perfectly. So it doesn't matter if you get this part perfect, as long as you get that white on the bottom, then you're good. So let's go. Boom, like that, basically, guys. Perfect. See, now it's like a border. It's nice. It doesn't have to be even, guys. Remember that. You know, the more the more creative it is, the more it doesn't look like an actual border, the better probably. But yeah, um, you know what? Like it's okay if it's like incorrect. See, like I did this incorrectly, but it's okay. It doesn't matter that much. Just um just make sure you know exactly what you're doing. There you go. So there you go, guys. And then you just uh suck that put some white down and that's it uh, there should be if there's some streak marks it's okay I think it looks good with that but there is our little border and now we're gonna go and start to style this border so let's go to blending right click blending options on the layer where the border is we're gonna start with the drop shadow because that's always the best way to go you can do an inner drop shadow like that or you can do um, an angle at you can do it at a different angle I, it doesn't um, oh wait hold on a minute guys you can do like, uh, I usually do uh, multiply or something like that. Lighten looks pretty nice too. If, if It's kind of hard to see, but it's pretty nice. Overlay, that looks really nice. Yes, yeah, so he's like, check the best possible thing that you could do. So I like overlay. I'm going to leave it at that. So if you, you can uncheck because you want to make subtle changes. So uncheck that. Then if you want to do outer glow, I, I forgot if this does anything. Um very slight you should make it very very slight do like a size of like four or something and do the opacity at very low it's like that just very 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 small then we can go to uh, pattern I was gonna say pattern but you don't really need to do this if you like this you can gradient overlay that's um, actually I've never done this before but you can do this. Um, I didn't really do this on the other one. Just like play around with the with this stuff because it's actually really fun to play around with. See, we got some over there, and then you can change the opacity. We could kind of make it nice like that. We can make it look like it's like, tinted. It, it looks really nice like that. I like it like that. But if you don't, then you don't have to do that. The blend mode, and you should put overlay by the way. So that looks the best. Um. Oh wait, hold on a minute. No, it doesn't. I'm just kidding with you. Make it very light, though. Light, light, light. Because you don't want that big of a difference. So, like that. Yeah, like that'll look good. Then you can go color overlay. Um, don't do that. Satin, uh, no, don't do that. I think inner glow. I think, I think that's what you have to do. I believe. I don't know. I forgot. No, you don't have to do inner glow. Forget inner glow. 
Inner Shadow, that's what I meant to say. Yeah, Inner Shadow looks very nice if you do that correctly. Try to make it look very, very nice. It will, I guarantee you. Distance, like, change the distance, change the size, but make it very, very, like, like that. Very nice. I think that looks really good. Um, blend mode. We can do a light in, I believe. No. Just, like, dot, go through this yourself. I like normal. Go through this yourself and, like, look at it. See, like, it's very, um... Yeah, like a size of like that. That looks very nice. Size of this, maybe. Um, but inner shadow. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to. But that that's what I like to do. I like to do a very soft inner shadow, and the distance very low. So maybe like this. But it has to look like it's shadowed a little bit. We got to make it look good. So and the opacity will bring that up a little bit. So like that ish. Then if we turn that off. We sh you can keep the gradient on or off, whatever you want. I'm going to lower the gradient a little bit. I'm going to lower the opacity. So, like, kind of like that. Like that. That's nice. I like that. Um, yeah. That's cool. Well, I, I like it like that. Um, and then you can also do the bevel and emboss. This changes a lot. The stroke, um, I'll go through that too. The stroke doesn't really do much of anything. You, don't, you can do an inside stroke, which makes it, like, very... Kind of like, it's like, it looks really nice with the inside stroke, but I don't like it that much. Um, yeah, it doesn't really go well with what we did. So you can just leave the stroke off. I If you want to do that, you can do it yourself, but I don't really want to do it. Um, yeah, I don't want to do it. Uh, here's the last thing you can do, is the bevel and emboss. I do a chisel hard, and I put the depth up a little bit, and I do size a lot, so... You can, like, make it look like it's, like, really... It looks really nice if you do this. But you have to turn the opacity down a lot, guys. So let's just um, soften it, put the size up a little bit. Um, very, very light touches. Very, very light. Like, it should not change a lot of anything at all. Like, you can put, like, shadows on it and stuff. Maybe like that. Like that. So, like, change check what you change so yeah it doesn't really change much of anything to tell you the truth but that's that's what i like um yeah that's kind of it and then you know if you want to style this thing too um we'll check what we had first so this is what we had we had regular white and this is what we came out with so you see it's a very big it's slight changes but it's gonna make a lot of difference when you're putting it on your thumbnails so yeah let's go and do our last part of this and do um yeah let's do our last part we can color this. So, now, I actually never colored this before. So, let's see how I can do this. Um, oh, I had an idea. We can do that. Op we can do a... Uh, op we can do, like, a sh paint bucket. And we can do it very light. We can do, like, a bluish or, like, something like that. Like, an aqua, darker, like that. Something like that. And, like, it's not going to show. That's what I just remembered. Because it's, it's not going to show this. Because it's... Already, like... Done. But, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, I don't really know how to do that, to tell you the truth, guys. But that's basically exactly what I said. So, okay. Whatever. I'm acting stupid. This is my first one. Then, basically, when you're done with it... Okay. I realized that I didn't add enough of a drop shadow. So, I'm going to go back... You can, yeah, oh, before I do that, um, you can, like, toggle this to see what it looks like without anything on it. So that's what it looks like so far. Um, it, it's, like, okay. It doesn't look horrible. We can also add a bigger, we'll add a bigger bevel and emboss to it. Depth a little bit more. Um, like that, maybe. Or soften it a tiny bit. And, like, the depth up a little bit more. It really has to look like you're you're doing it. So like that's nice, like that ish. That's pretty good. Drop shadow, we gotta bring you up a little bit too, buddy. Yeah, like that. That's good. Then if you take it off, it looks like that. So as you can see, it's a big difference. So then you're just gonna do layer one. We're gonna go like that, and we're just gonna go delete layer. Then we have our little cover. So if you flick it on and off, 
It's a transparent cover. It looks very nice. I like it. You just go to File, Save As. That's right. You just do File, Save As, Desktop. Okay. And then you're going to go to Thumbnail Cover. And we'll do. You're going to put it as a PNG because you're going to want it over everything. Okay. Remember that. No, wait. I'm doing this incorrectly, guys. You're going to save it as a Photoshop. Don't disregard what I just said. Save it as a PSD so you can go back in. You can add new layers. You could put your stuff. Just toggle this off. Do all your thumbnails and then toggle it on again to see how it looks with the thumbnail. Then you can change it. So yeah, make it as a Photoshop file. Okay, Photoshop thumbnail cover. Save it wherever you want to save it to. Save. Uh, it already exists because that's what I just made. Thumbnail cover two. Save. Maximize compatibility. Okay. And there you go. Um, X this out. And then you have over here, let's go and open this. Our thumbnail cover too. And here it is. And then you can always edit this yourself if you want to do it. You can just edit it. Very easy. So there you go, guys. So thank you for watching this uh, video, guys, on how to make a thumbnail cover for your thumbnails. Um, or a cover for your thumbnails. But thank you guys for watching it. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Yeah, peace out, guys. Awesome.